Hello, hey my friends, welcome to my channel. Merry Christmas. Today is the 25th, so it's Christmas, and I'm just so excited. And I wanted to say hi to you guys on Christmas and give you this special Christmas video, as you probably can tell, because I'm looking so ridiculous in my Christmas sweater and I have my Christmas earrings, my Christmas balls. I mean, they're so cute and sparkly. I'm kind of looking a mess, but that's okay. I'm in the Christmas spirit, got my Christmas decor. I have my apple cider with maybe some rum. I mean, it's delicious. If you're new to my channel, hi, welcome. I'm so glad you found me here on the big YouTube. I would love if you would subscribe and give my video a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And for those who don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays. I hope you're still having a wonderful day. In today's video, I have a special Christmas themed video. I built a winter Christmas farms in The Sims for you guys. It is so, so cute and so magical. Honestly, it looks like a farm wonderland. It is so beautiful, has so many beautiful lights. I downloaded lots of Sims mods, lots of Christmas Sims mods to make this extra special. And I'm pretty excited about it. I'm gonna play you the speed build and I'm gonna talk you through it. And it's not just gonna be the Christmas farm Sims build, but we're gonna chat. We're gonna have a Christmas chat because I wanted to chat with you guys about your Christmas traditions, what your favorite Christmas movies are. And I wanted to tell you about mine. And I wanted to tell you about the time that I actually witnessed a Christmas miracle. Yes, as a medical student, for those who don't know, I'm studying to be a doctor. I'm like a baby doctor right now. I'm still in school trying to, you know, get through that. <laughs> I witnessed what I thought was like a Christmas miracle. I was on call on Christmas and yeah, I'll tell you guys that story. It always just makes me smile and there's sadness and happiness. It's, we'll get into it. I'll explain it when we get there. Okay, so let's dive into this magical Christmas farm. Okay, this is the Denver family. They are so adorable. I actually downloaded them from the library, so I didn't make them. They look so cute. So it's Everett, Emily, Ella, and Ellie. That's the family. That little girl with her bun and their little curls, it's so cute. I definitely wanna do that hairstyle again for a little girl, she's so adorable. Anyway, it's their first Christmas and they just bought themselves a farm a beautiful magical farm but it's not decorated at all this is the farm as you can see again this is a cottage that i downloaded from the gallery as well but i kind of gutted it and i'm going to be renovating it all wallpaper floors everything and we're also going to be decorating it in christmas glory and you know they're excited it's their first christmas in their new home they want to make it magical they want to build out the farm and make it all christmassy and beautiful and glorious so that's what we're doing for them today as you can see i started with the wallpaper like we're starting with the living room first it's a pretty small tight space so like i didn't have a lot to work with but i went with like green and white themes on the walls in the living room and then a lot of like green white and red um decor so i was trying to do decor that was like farmhouse inspired obviously guys because it's a farm so you know had to go that route i love the fireplace yes and santa is going to be coming to give gifts to the little kids i really cluttered up the, the fireplace it's gonna as it goes i'm gonna like move pieces in and out and like i end up changing it and making it look a lot better but i was like playing around with it they are kind of hoarders so there's a lot of decor like this is going to be a pretty cluttered space but it's going to look magical and beautiful but get this there's going to be three Yes, three Christmas trees in this tiny little farm cottage. I mean, you'll see how I fit them in. We're just decorating up the fireplace. It's looking good so far. We have the little gnomes up on top. I mean, so cute. I love that painting too. It kind of looks, I, the one I ended up with kind of has like a farm cottage landscape. So that was cool. And you know, since we're doing this Christmas farmhouse build, it got me to thinking about Christmas traditions. Let me know in the comments below what kind of Christmas traditions you guys do. Like, what do you eat for Christmas? Do you spend time with your family? What are you doing this Christmas? Because things are probably a bit different for a lot of people. I personally don't get to see my mom. That's the person I usually celebrate Christmas with. So, and she lives across the country, so I'm not seeing her this year. So I'm so, so sad. But we are gonna celebrate through video chat, which is, you know, not comparable, but at least it's something. But I, my Christmas traditions, I was actually born in Europe for those, I don't think I've ever mentioned that, but I was born in Poland. I actually speak Polish, Czech. <laughs> but so we actually celebrate, and I think a lot of different parts in Europe do this. They celebrate on the 24th and the 25th, but the 24th is a really meaningful day. And we have what's called Vigilia. 
which is like Christmas Eve essentially. And on that day we have a specific meal that we eat and you're not supposed to eat any meat. Like you're, you're allowed to have fish, but you're not supposed to have any meat on the 24th. I love how the tree turned out in the living room with all the presents. It's just, I would love to personally stay here for Christmas. I don't know, let me know down below if you guys would also love to have your Christmas celebration in this little farmhouse. And they have tons of property too. I mean, this is a small little farmhouse on this like huge acre of land. And one of my favorite things that I did in this build is like I put the, what is that, garland? Like garland with lights all around all the windows. I think every single window has it, at least in the living room. I don't, I don't think I did in the other rooms, but like I went all out with that. And I think it just looks so magical. I really like it. I think it looks like a lot, but it still fits. So yeah, going back to my Christmas tradition. So we have Vigilia and what we typically, I think on Vigilia, you are supposed to have like 12 dishes or something like that. I don't know the exact number, but there's like a lot of different dishes. My mom wouldn't cook all of them, but she would cook like some of the main ones. And one of the main ones that we would have is barsht, red barsht, which is borscht in English. <laughs> um, so it's like a borscht soup made from beets and we serve it with ushka, which are like baby pierogies and they have mushrooms and I think onions in them. I don't know, my mom makes them, they're so delicious. I love them so much. And so you eat that with the soup. It's so good, it's amazing. We have that and then we also have fish, usually like a white fish and then with like potatoes and sauerkraut, that's kind of like the main second dish. And then also some of the other dishes that we would have kind of throughout the years, it, it will vary, but we'll have like vegetarian cabbage rolls, which are delicious and like a tomato sauce. I'm getting hungry already. I don't know if you guys are. And then we'll also have like something called croquette. I don't even know how to explain that. You can look it up if you want, but it's like, it's like a crepe with cabbage, sauerkraut, mushrooms, that kind of stuff inside. And it's like fried and breaded. So you like coat it in eggs and breading and then you fry it or bake it. I don't know, one of those. It's not super healthy, but it's delicious. Oh, and then we often have pierogies, usually ruske pierogies, that's what we call them. So they're like pierogies with cottage pressed cheese, which is like this white cheese. And you mix it with like potato, salt and pepper, that kind of thing. You can also have pierogies with like cabbage or sauerkraut or mushrooms, so we'll have those on the side. I love pierogies, they forever to make by hand, but my mom, again, she just like is brilliant at cooking, so I, I didn't inherit that from her, I hate cooking, so. <laughs> oh, and looking at, okay, so I'm getting so distracted from the build, but I love the stockings by the fireplace. They actually come with the names, they're not the names of my Sims, unfortunately, but they are cute nonetheless. And I just love how that turned out. I feel overall, like I really love how the living room turned out um, and then the kitchen too. Like I love those little three like Santa bottles. Well, I think one has like a snowman and then a Santa. They just look so cute. Um, and then the Christmas cookies. I was so excited when I found the Christmas cookie mod. Oh my goodness. Oh, it just like, I put two of them. There's another one that I end up putting in the bedroom. <laughs> yeah, and then there's like white white wine. Like uh, I think I put olive oil there. I mean, I just cluttered it up. There is literally no room to like put a plate because <laughs> they're just, they're ready. They're cooking, they have dishes on the stove. And then they have a little cute sitting nook there. Um, unfortunately, there's only room for three, but you know, one of the kids is like a baby, it's a toddler. So she needs like a high seat. So that's, you know, they have that, they take it out when they need it, okay? One of my favorite things in this build are, I don't know if you guys can guess, the throw pillows. I am obsessed with throw pillows. I have so many throw pillows. It's like one of my favorite things. And they had Christmas themed throw pillows. Like I kid you not, do these not look amazing? Actually one of them, the one with the reindeer like antlers, I have a pillow just like that. Fascinating, amazing, I was so excited. I use them in the bedroom, I use them in the living room, I use them in the kitchen. I went crazy with the throw pillows just like I do in real life. We're onto the bedroom right now, but just like talking about the kitchen, again, I tried to make it like cottage farm vibes, farmhouse vibes. So like the wallpaper has like that floral kind of cottage country vibe and you know, it just, it was a really small kitchen, but I wanted to make like most of the kitchen white, but then all the like decor accessory pieces obviously were like green and red. I think it turned out super cute. 
The bedroom though, I really love because I went for kind of a more dark red, more mysterious, mystic Christmas look. So I just thought I wanted it to be cozy, but still have like red inspired. So I went with a darker red. And then I just love like the wreath and the lights around the bed. It just gives such a like magical vibe. I would love to just have that as my bedroom. It is so beautiful. The side shelves, again, we're gonna see the Christmas cookies by the side table because they're snacking before they go to bed. They're not very healthy, these Sims, okay? I mean, I, I can't judge. Like I've been eating Christmas cookies, like there's no tomorrow. And of course, I somehow managed to fit in another tree into their bedroom, yes a black and white and red tree, perfectly fitting with this theme. And of course, tons of presents all around. And I added like real touches, like you can see like um, near the, on the side table, there's like a little latte and I put some like coffee cups in the kitchen and the, the living room. Gosh, I can't speak. I've had too much cider. Coffee cups and latte cups, eggnog latte. That's what I'm having today. And that's what they have in the, in this build as well. Okay, so back to my tradition. So that's my Christmas Eve tradition. And then we actually open gifts on Christmas Eve typically, but we'll leave like stockings until Christmas morning. So that's kind of like reverse to what most people do in like North America, I guess. And then on Christmas morning, we wake up really early and we have a big Christmas morning breakfast, which is a bunch of different cheeses, delis, breads, lots of different things. I'll see if I can show you a picture of, la of like two years ago where we celebrated at my mom's house. It was so good. And we have beets again, like um, beets with horseradish, like a puree. I don't know. It's like shredded beets. I don't know how to explain it. It's so good. And we have like this garden or vegetable salad that my mom makes. It's just delicious. It's wonderful. Christmas dinner on the 25th, there isn't like a specific tradition that we have had from like my own culture. But so we do different things. Like sometimes we'll have turkey. Sometimes we'll have, I came up with this recipe for apple rum spiced ribs. It's delicious. Yeah, it's so good. Anyway, <laughs> enough about food. We're all going to get too hungry. Yeah. So that's kind of like what we eat on the 24th and 25th. And obviously lots of snacks, Christmas cookies. My mom makes amazing cheesecake and she makes this cake called Rolada. I'll see if I can find a picture. It is so good. It has like jello in the middle and then this like coffee and chocolate. Oh God. Okay. Okay. That's enough. Let's right now. Okay. L let's just talk about the bedroom here, guys. This is a girl's, this is the girl's bedrooms. They share a bedroom obviously, because this is like a tiny little farm, but it's so cute. I made it more of a, like a glamor Christmas vibe. So it's like pink, but I tried to use like pink and gold. There wasn't that much gold decor, but I tried as much as I could, like in the, the rug has gold in it. And I just love how it turned out. Like they have a bunk bed, obviously to save space and just tons of Christmas decor. I even managed to fit in a white and gold tree. I mean, it's very cramped in there, but you know, they're making it work. They're like little Christmas princesses. And of course we're finishing up with the bathroom, which is, I mean, self-explanatory. I love the little uh, Christmas towels. And let me know in the comments below your Christmas traditions, your favorite Christmas movie. My favorite Christmas movie is Miracle on 34th Street. I love that movie so much. I watch it every year, but I also love Home Alone a lot as well. And I mean, I love all Christmas movies to be honest. But before we run out of time, let me tell you guys about the Christmas miracle. So like I mentioned, I was on call on Christmas. Yes, the dreaded Christmas call schedule of a medical student. So yeah, I was working Christmas and I was working in the ER and a lady came in and oh, I should mention, obviously I've changed a lot of the details for confidentiality purposes. Like that's super important. So I've changed details. So confidentiality of the patient is maintained, you know, so keep that in mind. But. I'm giving you kind of like the gist of the story for like a learning opportunity. So basically this lady came in and she was in her like fifties and she came in, she had like major chest pain. She had shortness of breath and she thought she was having a heart attack and it was Christmas. And obviously like this is traumatic. And the worst part is her father had died. Her father had actually died on Christmas. It was so, so horrible. It turns out, you know, we did more exams, we checked her heart and she actually wasn't having a heart attack, but her heart was actually broken. Yes, from the grief of her father dying, her heart broke. You guys know the expression, my heart is broken or he broke her heart, you know? 
that is an expression that people use when someone breaks their heart or they have like a lot of distress. That's actually something that can happen. It's not physically breaking, but there is a syndrome called Takutsubo syndrome. I don't, I, I can never say that properly. It's a type of cardiomyopathy. And what can happen is the heart can, the, the heart is a pump, right? And it's ability to pump gets disturbed because of some immense distress that a person is undergoing. So this Takutsubo syndrome can occur from like severe stress, extremely stressful conditions like emotional stress or physical stress, surgery, sometimes like different illnesses. You know, that concept that people use, like my heart is broken, technically like your heart can break. But the good thing is in this situation, like the heart, it usually is transient. So it's like temporary. It usually does repair itself. It's usually a temporary thing, like for lasting like a few days or something like that. But yeah, this severe stress on the heart, it disrupts the heart's pumping function. And that's the, one of the main purposes of your heart is it, it is a pump you know, that that's a big deal. So obviously this was devastating. Like we were thinking not only did her father die, but now she has this broken heart, this cardiomyopathy, this Takutsubo syndrome, and it's Christmas. I mean, how awful. I mean, I wasn't feeling bad for myself anymore working that call shift. And it just kind of put things in perspective for me. And then when I came to see her the next morning, I was just so shocked and stunned because she told me one of her old friends who she actually had like a romantic relationship with in the past, he came into town because people were coming in to town for her father's funeral and like for those arrangements and they reconnected because of that. He came to visit her and you know, they talked and realized like they lost this connection that, you know, they always wished that he, they had pursued, but never did just because of timing and stuff. And they ended up reconnecting, realizing they actually are in love with each other. And because of this joy and just how happy she was from this, she started to recover and her heart started to improve and she was no longer heartbroken. Obviously it took a little bit of time, but she was able to recover from this. And despite this horrible tragedy that happened to her on Christmas with her father dying, she also was reconnected with her great lost love and he healed her broken heart. And I just couldn't believe that happened. It was just such a magical thing to experience. And it's something that I often think about. And I don't know, it just kind of puts things into perspective. I don't know. I don't know if some of you are religious or spiritual. I definitely am very spiritual. So I do believe in miracles. Obviously I'm a doctor and a scientist, so I do believe in that as well. But I do believe some things happen because of a greater power. I know it was just something that I like to think about on Christmas and I wanted to share with you guys because it's just such a beautiful story and how it ended and obviously facing the difficulties of life, but then, you know, how, how things can turn around. And sometimes a tragic event can happen and can be absolutely devastating, but sometimes there's like a silver lining or something that comes out of it. So yeah, I just wanted to share that story with you guys. Let me know your thoughts below and what you thought about that. And let me know if you have witnessed any Christmas miracles, not necessarily any like medical ones, but just any, like even the smallest thing can be like a little Christmas miracle. So let me know your thoughts and experiences down below. Okay. Wow. Okay. I talked so much that we're like pretty much at the end of this build. So I gave you guys an overview. My favorite part was those beautiful, beautiful Christmas lights outside. I found pre-lit trees. It just looked so magical. The outside, I did so many garlands with lights. It just looked so beautiful. I love how it turned out outside. I put tons of effort into the outside and inside obviously, but I put a lot of wreaths and a lot of lights. But yes, definitely my favorite part is how just it looks in the nighttime when you turn off all the lights and the pre-lit trees outside surrounding the farm light up. It just looks like a Christmas farm. And before we finish up, I'm going to show you the Denver family enjoying their beautiful Christmas farm. And I changed their outfits. I also downloaded Christmas outfit mods. Like how cute is that reindeer shirt and her dress? It's like just a beautiful Christmas Mrs. Claus type dress, a ball gown almost. Yeah, I love it. There weren't as many for the little kids, but they look cute and festive. I mean, look at, actually I did find that little tree for, for the little girl. Oh my goodness, she's so cute, just a little munchkin. I love it. So they seem to really be enjoying their home. Let me know what you guys thought of the build down below. I asked you lots of questions. Let me know your Christmas traditions. Let me know if you've had any Christmas miracles and let me know your thoughts on this beautiful winter magical Christmas farm. That is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the little Christmas chat we had. I'm going to finish off my apple cider. It's delicious. I hope you guys are having a beautiful Christmas. I hope you get to spend it with people you love, whether that's virtually or in person. I am so thankful for you guys on this Christmas and I can't wait for the new year. I know it's been such a tough year for so many people. I am really staying hopeful for 2022. 
let's cross our fingers and just, just pray for the best. That is all for today. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. And I will see you, yes, you, in my next video. Bye guys.